A Louisiana judge is blaming sedatives for the onslaught of racist slurs used in a video at her home that she that recently surfaced. Judge Michelle O'Donnell says she is sorry and taking an unpaid leave of absence, but insists that she's not quitting the bench. Oh. <laughs> A home video showing outdoor surveillance footage of an altercation with a burglary suspect. They're like, pull up, pull up. We can't see their faces, but the people are watching and are heard commenting on the video at times using racist language. And mom's yelling, The people who are watching the video are heard using the N-word over and over and sometimes laughing. At one point, saying the suspect was like a roach. And we have a today, or like a roach. It all took place at the home of Lafayette City Court Judge Michelle Onyet. It is unknown who recorded the video from the inside of the home or who is speaking and how it became public. My job is to create content, not look into the side effects of sedatives, but just in case anyone was wondering, no. Conscious sedation does not make one say racist things. Nor does when a black person is being apprehended for allegedly burglarizing your vehicle suddenly make you racist. Let's be clear. While these racial slurs were used in the privacy of her own home, it was not the first time she used these terms. I mean, she said them so effortlessly, so precise. It doesn't sound like anyone else who can be heard in the video was shocked by what they heard from her or themselves. Michelle Odenay resigned from her seat on the Lafayette City Court weeks after the video was released, and recently, Orleans Parish District Attorney Jason Williams ordered a civil rights review of all cases the former judge prosecuted as an assistant district attorney. I mean, how could she have remained impartial to a certain race of people she deems to be roaches, especially in criminal proceedings? And while I still don't know how this video got out, I'm wondering who she's talking to at the time it was recorded. Anyone who knows me and my husband knows this is contrary to the way we live our lives. I am deeply sorry and ask for your forgiveness and understanding. Could one of the other voices be her husband, Kenneth, who is the coroner of Lafayette Parish? He is likely the owner of Odinette Plastic Surgery and Skin Care in Lafayette too. I can't be sure of how he remains impartial to his clientele as well. I will never know why a non-black person would want to say the N-word to begin with. And hey, even I just said N-word when talking about the N-word. We know that there are rules to language depending on the context. Yet her name is Michelle, but people can't call her anything other than your honor in a court of law, right? I bet her husband doesn't call any other woman the pet name that he uses for his wife. I mean, I have a nickname that only my family is allowed to call me. Don't ask. Y'all don't know me like that. So Michelle, your honor. No, Michelle, since I looked up side effects for sedatives, maybe you can look into new terminology to address others. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at he gonna be all right. Thanks for watching.